So it's summertime and it's heating up and there's also an increase in air pollution and that air pollution can lead to all sorts of health problems including triggering asthma. I'm Dr. Randy Martin and let's go visit with an ER physician and find out more. I'm with Colin Dirks. Colin is an ER physician at Piedmont Hospital. Colin, thanks for joining us. So Colin, what exactly is smog? It's air pollution. It's generally comprised of uh, two components. Particulate matter, which are small particles that are suspended in the air, can be breathed in. And then there's ozone, which is uh, lung irritant as well. Clear, odorless gas uh, that is formed by the sun's action on oxygen in the air. When we inhale that particulate matter, that ozone, it acts as an irritant. We get muscle constriction around the airways, mm -hmm. we get increased mucus production, uh, and we get inflammation. In these hot summer months with this ozone level being high, do you see a lot of people coming into the emergency department with asthma? We certainly do. Those individuals who have asthma or some reactive airway disease are prone to be affected, particularly during these summer months and in the late afternoon, early evening. What would be your advice to people how to avoid really the toxic effects of air pollution? You know, for all individuals actually, it's wise to follow your air quality index. Uh, you can find it at the EPA's website. You want to avoid being outdoors when the air quality is very poor, particularly exercising outdoors. You know, when we exercise, we can increase uh, uh, the amount of air we breathe up to 20 fold. And so if the air quality is poor, you're getting that much more exposure to those lung irritants. How do people know that they might be suffering from asthma or their children might? What are the signs? You know, certainly difficulty in breathing. If you are hearing that wheeze, that whistling noise when a, a child or a person inhales or exhales, certainly that's a sign of it. Having a chronic cough too. Uh, can be an indicator of it. If you see these symptoms uh, in your child, uh, by all means, asthma needs to be a consideration. And if there's any difficulty in breathing, it's time to come into the emergency room to get checked out.